It is Monday, July 15, 2019. I am Farah Bates, the ninth edition of News in Depth. Welcome and thank you for joining us. In the headlines, five persons charged with the murder of Better Hope Money Changer and his daughter. More details in this report. Other relatives of the victims who were shot and killed by bandits during a robbery were very emotional as the murder accused appeared in court this afternoon. The grieving woman said her daughter Ariana Latchman and her husband Aaron Latchman both received multiple gunshot wounds and were pronounced dead at the Georgetown Public Hospital. The woman said the deaths of her husband and daughter have caused her sleepless nights and she wants justice. They'll be trying but this is very hard. The police did some good work and were able to arrest five of them. What yeah. do you want to say to the person this time? So far it's good. So far the investigation is good, but I hope to get justice. How are you making out knowing that the, the main source, one of the main sources of income for the family is not there? Not one of the main source, two. Two of them. I can't even sleep in the night. She says she wishes the men will never see the road again. I hope they're not going to go back on the road free out there for the next family feel like how I'm feeling. The woman spoke to reporters this afternoon at the Spirendam Magistrates Court. Today, five men were slapped with the indictable charge of murder when they appeared in the Spirendam Magistrates Court before Magistrate Alicia George. The five accused are Mark Rufino, age 25, a laborer of Perica East Bank, Esquibo, Paul Chan, called Long Here, or Anthony, 37, a conductor of 10 Dennis Streets of Fire, Troy Abrams, called Troy, a raster man, age 44, a vendor of Middle Street, a Greek East Bank, Demararo, Lloyd Sadlu, age 37, self-employed, of 220 Moka Arcade, East Bank Demerara, and Sean Thomas, called Yankee, age 41, an electrician, of 59 William Street Kitty. The men were charged with murder in the course or furtherance of a robbery committed on Aaron Latchman and Ariana Latchman, which occurred on July 4th at their Better Hope North East Coast Demerara home. The men were not required to plead the indictable charge and were remanded to prison until August 15th. Police left nothing to chance as they brought out some of their ranks with high-powered weapons who stood around the courtyard. Some of the accused hid their faces as they were escorted to the police vehicle to be taken to the prison. The police cracked the case after doing intensive investigations with some of the suspects reportedly confessing to the crime. It was only today that the police's file was sent to the DPP for legal advice, after which the men were charged. More news after this break. Stay with us. The Ghana Elections Commission will commence house-to-house -house registration in your area soon. You must register if you are a Guyanese citizen by birth, descent, naturalization, or registration. 14 years and older by the 31st of October 2019, a citizen of a Commonwealth country living in Guyana for a period of no less than one year preceding the qualifying date. If you were previously registered, you will need to register again. Look out for GCOM. Make it your responsibility to get registered. For more information, contact GCOM on 225-0277-9 or 223-9653. Email pro at gcom.org.gy. Contact the nearest GCOM registration office or visit our website www.gcom.org.gy. Get your documents ready to be registered. Are you eligible to be registered during GCOM's house-to-house -house registration exercise? Then you must have either a birth certificate, a valid passport, naturalization certificate or certificate of registration, adoption certificate. Married women may also be asked to present their marriage certificate. 
Individuals who had a name change, which is not stated on their birth certificate, must present a deed poll along with their original birth certificate. Get your documents ready now and prepare to be registered. If you were previously registered, you will need to be registered again. Be on the lookout. It is your right. Make it your responsibility. For more information, contact GCOM on 2250-27729 or 223-9653. Email pro at gcom.org.gy. Contact your nearest GCOM registration office or visit our website www.gcom.org.gy. The all-in-one weapon for perfecting imperfections and capturing flawless skin. A lot of brands forget women of color or just don't understand that we come in all shades. From caramel to ebony, there is such a range. Iman Cosmetics is for every woman and features a line of skincare products and cosmetics including 16 foundation shades, powder, concealer, lipstick, blush, eyeshadow, highlighter and BB cream. Visit us at Lot 75 Swamp Section, Rosal Town. That's behind the market. Or call 337-4422 or 688-9249. Did you know that stress occurs fairly often in life and that prolonged stress can have a negative effect on your physical and mental health? Meet Jack. I was stressed, so I finally decided to tell my friend Mark about it. He shared with me the helpline numbers to seek counseling. I was hesitant because I never thought that I would be in a position to share my story about my mental health. I eventually called and the counselors they put me on to were very friendly and professional. I went to his office, and over time, I learned how to cope and manage my stress. The service was professional and confidential. I would recommend it to anyone who might be facing their own problems. You may be facing challenges that keeps you from enjoying the things you love, but that's okay. Help is available. Talk with a trusted counselor on the helpline 223-0001-600-7896 or 623-4444. Welcome back. Civil Defense Commission offers help to flood affected residents. More in this report. Floodwaters in some of the areas affected by the flood under quarantine are receding and the Guyana Civil Defense Commission was on the ground assessing the situation. The Civil Defense Commission also handed out hampers to the affected residents. The situation became worrying to residents after they were inundated with several inches of water last Friday. In Rose Hall, the council said the pump in that area was not in operation at the time, but quick work by the council restored the pump and got the water off. Why you must register. Registration is a legal requirement according to the National Registration Act, Chapter 1908. Persons who do not register can be charged and fined along with imprisonment. Getting registered has two main benefits for eligible citizens, national identification and the opportunity to participate in the voting process. After registration, you will receive a national identification card. A national identification card may be used to vote at an election, identify oneself when transacting business or seeking employment, transact business at the bank, obtain old age pension, secure a driver's license, transact business at a post office, secure a loan, conduct a higher purchase transaction, obtain a police clearance, collect national insurance benefits, apply for a passport, apply for a TIN certificate. Don't miss the chance to get registered. Look out for GCOM. Make it your responsibility to register. For more information, contact GCOM on 22502-779 or 223-9653. Email pro at gcom.org.gy. Contact the nearest GCOM registration office or visit the website at www.gcom.org.gy. I sell swaggerific. Spaniard me like swaggerific. I Spaniard. Drink your style. When star give me a hand on the whole place. Turn up, 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 turn up,
I don't business if you're not on time. You must always have stag in the line. Well, everybody have a stag in the hand. Where's my Stagaman's beer? The Ghana Elections Commission will commence house-to-house -house registration in your area soon. You must register if you are a Guyanese citizen by birth, descent, naturalization, or registration. 14 years and older by the 31st of October 2019, a citizen of a Commonwealth country living in Guyana for a period of no less than one year preceding the qualifying date. If you were previously registered, you will need to register again. Look out for GCOM. Make it your responsibility to get registered. For more information, contact GCOM on 225-0277-9 or 223-9653. Email pro at gcom.org.gy. Contact the nearest GCOM registration office or visit our website, www.gcom.org.gy. Following the breakdown of the consensual hammering out of names for the appointment of a chairman of GCOM between the government and the opposition and the issuance of the consequential orders by the CCJ, President David Granger over the weekend suggested two names from his initial eight for consideration to which opposition leader Barry Jagdew expressed little optimism. I will examine whether any of those eight are not are acceptable to me now, although the role is reserved or reversed, and then decide when I formally submit the six whether one of those names will be on, or, or there may be other names. The president and the opposition leader did not meet over the weekend. However, failing to find consensus on a final six names may prompt a move to suggest a Commonwealth citizen outside of Ghana. It will be an option. If we can't find uh, all, all of the names acceptable here to both parties or not unacceptable, then, then, they, then that's an option. It is also unclear when the president and the opposition leader will meet again to conclude their informal meetings. With that, we've come to the end of tonight's newscast. If you have a news story or tip, you can contact us on 666-4337 or 654-0523. You can also visit our website at www.rdproductiongy.com or on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at Royce and Jerks Production for more details on these and other stories. Join us again tomorrow night for more news. I am Firebeats. Good night.